All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, call Hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Akakotash. It's the brother of Bagabar from the Camp Prophets in Babylon, Tampa, Florida. Uh, double honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone who we learn this truth from. Peace and salutations to the elect that are scattered abroad doing this work in truth and in sincerity. Preaching the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai to the four corners of the earth. All right, just a quick lesson. Uh, I got a question on the comment board, so I thought I'd go into this. Lord willing, it's edifying to the hopeful elect. And we're going to jump right into it concerning the, the northern kingdom and this comment that I got on the comment board. All right, it says, um, from Ray Delave, Delave Gar, 7457, it says, I subscribe to your channel. Is there conclusive proof about the northern kingdom being the 10 tribes? There are many against this. I have a query. Why do the tribes look all different in appearance? Southern kingdom, and it says northern kingdom when you press read more. All right, so the first part of the question is, is there conclusive proof about the northern kingdom being the 10 tribes? All right, and what the proof we have is ultimately the history, the scriptures, which I'm going to go into the scriptures and, you know, the, the artifacts that they found here in America uh, with Hebrew writing. And actually, you know what? Let me grab that. I think I got some pictures. Uh, here we go. Here's uh, this right here. It says 800 stones with Hebrew writing found in Puerto Rico authenticated. All right. So you have... um different Hebrew artifacts that were found here in America uh, in Puerto Rico you know in um, different parts of the states you also see uh, you know different pyramids that were built which we know the Israelites are the ones who built the pyramids in Egypt all right when the children of Israel were in slavery to the Egyptians those pyramids were built by the Israelites okay and you have pyramids all over uh, the earth and really a lot here in America, uh, Mexico, which is the northern kingdom of Israel. All right. So over 800 Hebrew uh, ancient stones with Hebrew writing in Puerto Rico authenticated. Now, even when you go into um, Boricua, which is um, actually comes from a Hebrew word, which is used a lot in Puerto Rico, you know, which is the tribe of Ephraim. Boricua actually stems from the Hebrew word Boriken, which is the land of the young lords. All right. Before the the northern kingdom spoke Spanish, you know, they actually spoke uh, Hebrew or, or broken Hebrew. Uh, they have the, the, the Taino language, the Arawak language, which is nothing but uh, Hebrew and broken Hebrew. Right, and it wasn't until after 1492 uh, when Christopher Columbus came to the land of America and started slaughtering the Israelites is when that's when the Israelites started speaking Spanish, becoming Spanish. Um, you know, they got the bywords of Puerto Rican, Cuban, Dominican, uh, so on and so forth of the Northern Kingdom tribes. But before that, you had. Um, you know, the Israelites, they, they they knew that they were Israelites when they were here in the land of America. They actually kept some of the uh, the high holy days, the feast days, the, the new moons and things of that nature. OK, <clears throat> let me get this as well. This is the Los Lunas stone. OK, with Hebrew writing, Hebrew artifacts. You know, and this is in uh, New Mexico. All right which uh, the so-called Mexicans would come from the tribe of Issachar, all right? Which the, the, the 12 tribes of Israel make up of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We've been scattered to the four corners of the earth pursuant to uh, the curses of Deuteronomy 28. But you see, this is Hebrew writing, okay? Right here in America. Um... And actually on this stone, they have the name of the Lord, all right, which is Yahweh. All right, so let's go into the scriptures. First and foremost, I want to grab um, 
Romans 8 and 16, it says the spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high. So ultimately it goes back to the spirit, the spirit of Yahweh Bashmi, Yahweh Shai. And ultimately, if you come from the seed line of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. All right. Now, let me go ahead and close this. Bring this back up real quick. All right, so he said, I subscribe to your channel. Is there conclusive proof about the Northern Kingdom being the 10 tribes? He also said, why do the tribes look all different in appearance? Okay, now I'm gonna go into the history, all right, real quick. Uh, Second Ezra 13 and 40, it says, those are the 10 tribes, which the 10 tribes makes up of the Northern Kingdom, all right? It says, uh, which you had a little bit of uh, Levi in the mix, it says, those are the 10 tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Osea the king, whom Salmanessar, the king of Assyria, led away captive, and he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. All right, so uh, this was during the time of the Assyrian captivity. You had the northern kingdom that were, you know, enslaved to the uh, Assyrians during this captivity and the, the Israelites actually fled around 722 BC. Okay. And they fled. We're going to read. They actually fled to a land where never mankind dwelt. See, during this time period, you had all the Israelites, they dwelt, or well, really all, everybody in, on earth was on in the East. Okay. It wasn't until, um, the Northern Kingdom got over here to this land. And even before that, you have history of King Solomon with his Navy that sent ships uh, over to the land of America, which uh, the Bible says is the, the land of Ophir, okay? Because they had a lot of uh, gold and, and resources here in this land, okay? That we know as America today. But the Israelites, after the Assyrian captivity around 722 BC, the northern kingdom fled the Assyrian captivity and they came to the land of America. All right. The first people on this land were the Israelites. All right. It says, um, second Ezra 13 and 41, but they took the counsel among themselves. So the Israelites counseled among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt okay so keep in mind they were in the east and the israelites the northern kingdom took a council among themselves saying look we're going to leave the heathen we're going to leave this captivity we're going to flee this captivity and we're going to go into a further country where never mankind dwelt and that further country was talking about here in america all right it says that they might keep that they might there keep their statues which they never kept in their own land, all right? And as it actually took place, you'd had, um, when the Israelites got to the land of America, they were practicing the ways of Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shai. But as time went on, Jake started getting wicked. They started sacrificing their children. Like if you watch uh, the movie Apocalypto, you see the Northern Kingdom was going way off, man. You know, they came here to, you know, practice the law, statutes and commandments, but ultimately, you know, that covenant had been broken, all right? It says, and they entered into the Euphrates by the narrow places of the river for the most high then shewed signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over. And that, you see the Lord ultimately uh, calmed the waters, you know, had, had it to where, you know, they made it to this land of America and it took them a long time. It says, for through that country, there was a great way to go namely of a year and a half and the same region is called Arsareth all right Arsareth or the new world which is here in America all right uh, America is Arsareth and uh you get the history of King Solomon let me actually see if I grab it maybe Yeah, here we go. Uh, 1 Kings 10 and 22. So it took a year and a half for the, the northern kingdom by ship. You know, they sailed all the way over to the Americas. It took a year and a half. 
right? It says uh, 1 Kings 10 and 22. But before that, you had King Solomon who built a navy. And he was actually traveling to the same land. Of uh, uh, 1 Kings 10 and 22, it says, For the king had at sea a navy of Tharshish with the navy of Hiram. Once in three years came the navy of Tharshish, bringing gold and silver, ivory, apes, and peacocks. All right, so King Solomon, he had a navy. Okay, and once in three years, so it took three years for them to, you know, a year and a half to get there and a year and a half to get back makes you what? Three years. Okay, and they will bring King Solomon gold, you know, precious stones, animals, uh, things of that nature. So really King Solomon was the first to the, uh, to discover this land, so to say, you know, to uh, uh, ex explore this land. Okay, and then later... In history, after uh, around 722 BC, is when the Northern Kingdom fled the Assyrian captivity, and they came to the land of America known as Arsareth. All right. So let me go ahead and read the question again. It says, uh, "I subscribe to your channel. Is there conclusive proof about the Northern Kingdom being the ten tribes, which we just went into the history? You know." Um, the northern kingdom of the ten tribes they they took a council among themselves and they fled and they sailed by ship it took a year and a half for them to get from the assyrian captivity to the land of americas all right that land is called arsareth all right that's why when christopher columbus actually got here when christopher columbus went on his voyage he had hebrew interpreters with him he had a lot of he had um Hebrew interpreters, meaning he had people that spoke Hebrew, understood Hebrew. And why did he bring them with him? Ultimately, because he knew that he was going to encounter the Hebrew Israelites when he got to this land known as America. All right. They say that they're Native Americans or Tainos or Aztecs and the Mayans. But really, these are the Israelites. OK. And, and we spoke Hebrew before we spoke Spanish. OK. After we were conquered is when we spoke Spanish. And we were conquered by the, the Spanish, okay, which are nothing but Edomites. All right. Uh, real quick. The latter part, it says, why do the tribes look all different in appearance? So let me grab this real quick. And the answer to that is simple. You know, first of all, the Israelites were scattered to all the nations of the earth through uh, slavery. So you had the Israelites that were getting with the heathen women. So you had Israelites, you know, that would sleep with Moabites, uh, Ammonites, sleep with, uh, you know, Chinese, Japanese today, uh, the so-called white woman, you know, and the, the children would come out looking like these other nations. But we understand pursuant to Numbers 1 and 18, the pedigree is determined by the father's seed. So you have Israelites that look like the other nations, but their father goes back to the, the seed line of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. So now you since through the scattering, you have Israelites that are going to come from every nation and even look like the other nations and even speak the language of the other nations. All right. Let me grab this real quick. This is uh, John 7 and 24. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. So we aren't a, a, a supposed to judge according to appearance house. You know how things may look we got to judge righteous judgment okay that's why even when we're at camp we go teach the word you can't just see a man just because he has pale skin blue eyes and blonde hair and just assume immediately he's an edomite you know he could be a jake it could be a jake that has a, a jake father and a you know a white mother and he just came out looking like his mother all right but nonetheless that seed line still goes back to israel so through the scattering, let me grab this real quick. Um, Jeremiah 12 and 9, mine heritage, all right, and the Lord's heritage is who? The Israelites, all right? Mine heritage is unto me as a speckled bird, all right? When you look at a speckled bird, it has different colors, shades, all right? It says the birds round about her 
are against her, and the other birds are the heathens, man, the other nations. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field, come to devour. And that's what they tried to do. The other nations tried to devour us. All right? And another way you know that the Israelites, or the northern kingdom are the Israelites, too, is when you go into the curses of Deuteronomy 28. Those curses also fit the northern kingdom. All right? Being called a byword, a proverb, serving our enemies, going into slavery on ships, Okay? As uh, the southern kingdom was getting here in uh, 1619, the transatlantic slave trade, you already had Israelites getting slaughtered here in this land. And then you had Israelites that were, you know, the northern kingdom getting sent off to Spain, Portugal, different different um, Edomite uh, nations at the time. All right. So through the scattering, you had the Israelites that looked like the other nations even spoke the languages of the other nations but in reality they were the israelites all right which is a uh, part of those curses as well let me go ahead and grab this first ezra's 8 and 92 it says then Je jaconius the son of Jelus." One of the sons of Israel called out and said, O Esdras, we have sinned against the Lord Yahweh. We have married strange women of the nations of the land, and now is all Israel aloft. And what happened is Israel started, you know, um, giving unto these strange women's gods, started worshiping these women, started worshiping their gods. And that's where Israel went off. You know, there's nothing wrong with having a concubine or, or dealing with a woman of another nation. But what happened is like uh, what happened with Solomon, King Solomon, when he got up in age, he started, you know, making altars for these women, these heathen women, sac uh, sacrificing unto their gods, worshiping their gods, which that's where the sin lies. OK, idolatry, worshiping other gods. And that's what happened to Israel. All right. The northern kingdom, the northern kingdom had strange women dealing with strange women. And, you know ultimately started worshiping their gods and worshiping other strange gods and that's part of the curses as well all right uh let me go to baruch real quick so according to the appearance you know why do the tribes all look different in appearances because of the scattering okay we've been scattered to the four corners of the earth this is uh, Baruch 4 and 6. It says, You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved the Most High to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. You For you provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to the Most High. And that's what happened. Okay, We were sacrificing unto uh, uh, devils, man. Strange gods. All right? This is... Um, the book of Tobit 13 and 3 it says confess him before the Gentiles you children of Israel for he hath scattered us among them we were scattered among the Gentiles the other nations there declare his greatness and extol him before all the living for he is our Lord and he is the most high our father forever and he will scourge us for our iniquities and that he will have mercy again and will gather us out of all nations among whom he has scattered us okay and during this scattering you had israelites you know going in unto the other other uh, women of the nations and the children started coming out looking like the other nations but nonetheless it's still the seed of israel all right so is there conclusive proof about the northern kingdom being the 10 tribes we went into the history a little bit of the history the second ezra's the 10 tribes you can go into it a little more 
uh, the, the artifacts, different Hebrew artifacts that were found here in America. You know, uh, the practices of the Native Americans, the Taino Indians, the, you know, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, Dominicans. You see it comes from Hebrew roots, all right? Because we are the Hebrew Israelites. It says there are many uh, against this, which, you know, at the end of the day, it's not for everybody. Not everybody's going to be believe. You got guys that believe that, you know, Israel just got to be all black. It's not about just being black, you know. This thing isn't about just what color you are. It says, why do the tribes all look different in appearance? And we went into that through the scattering that happened uh, during slavery, the transatlantic slave trade, and also 1492 when Christopher Columbus came and, and slaughtered the Native Americans and enslaved them as well. All right, so Lord willing, it was edifying to the hopeful elect. Just some history, uh, comment board question answered. Lord willing, it was edifying. Call Lord Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai. Until next time, I say Shalom.